there's an asymmetrical U-tube. The uh, area on the left side here is 10 centimeters squared, and the area on the right side is uh, 5 centimeters squared. Initially, mercury in the tube only, and there is atmospheric pressure pushing down on both sides. Therefore, the pressure is equal on both sides. Therefore, we have a level amount of mercury on both sides. A new condition here, add 10 centimeter high column of water above that will force the mercury going to the left we still have pressure of atmosphere pushing down on both sides our job is to figure out what's the new height here above that level line that was once there before well we know if we pay attention to this line here the pressures will be the same so the pressure of the mercury above this line must equal the pressure of the water above this line. We always go with the, uh, the water mercury interface or whatever the substance is here in that interface. Well, let's call the distance from this line to the level line initially. We'll call that H2. And we have a height here above there called H. Well, we can solve for H2 because we know the volume displaced here of mercury must be what volume is raised here. And the volume of a cylinder is the cross-sectional area multiplied by height. Okay, so I can then say area 1, which is 10, and multiply that by H. Okay, has to equal 5, which is the cross-sectional area 2, multiplied by H2. And then dividing both sides by 5, we find that H2 is then going to be equal uh, 2 times h. And again, h is this volume here. Now we go back to the side here. We realize that the pressure at this location must equal the pressure there. So how we solve that is by looking at the, first of all, the atmospheric pressure. We'll call that p naught plus rho g h. And this time I'll put 13.6 for the density of mercury multiplied by 9.8 times the height. Now we'll need to think about the height from here to there is H2 plus another H. So that would be H2 uh, plus H. That has to equal the density of water, which is 1, multiplied then by 9.8. And we're going to multiply this by the height of the water column, which is 10. And of course, we'll add a, a pressure knot to that side because we have atmospheric pressure there. Now simplifying, we notice that the pressures will cancel out due to subtraction. And then once that's gone, the uh, 9.8s will cancel out by division. And we're left with 13.6 multiplied by, now we have H2 plus H, but H2 is twice H. So I'm going to plug 2H in there and add H to it, and that is uh, 3 times H. And that, of course, is going to equal then, I remember this is canceled out too, that'll equal 10. So then we'll take 10 divided by 13.6 and then divided by 3 as well. And height is going to equal 0.25 centimeters. And that's this height right here, 0.25 centimeters. And that's how we deal with uh, asymmetrical uh, YouTube.